When I say farmer, what do you see? Do they have an age, a gender? Are they wearing overalls? Hold on to that. Now, when I say farm girl, what do you see? If you type those words into Google Images, one of the first things that you are going to see is a young girl in cheeky denim shorts on a John Deere tractor. She's not driving the tractor or using it for any practical purpose, but she's on it. <laughs> what you don't see is me. Me or any of the other women who are increasingly choosing occupations within the male-dominated industry of agriculture. Between 2002 and 2007, the number of women operating farms in the United States increased by 19%. What this means is more women are taking management positions and making the day-to-day -day decisions on farms. What is even more impressive is the increase in women owning farms. Between 2002 and 2012, the number of women in this ownership role increased by almost 30%. Women are coming into agriculture for various reasons. Some have inherited a property, others are embarking on a second career, and then you have those like me who couldn't bear the burden of an office job. I got my start in agriculture five years ago when a woman invited me into her garlic field. She needed the extra hands, and I needed the reality check as to what it takes to make the products my precious food system documentaries talked about. Out in a field, my back was aching within an hour. When I think about my first day on the farm, all I remember is pain. I remember the burn of the sun as it seared into my skin, the burn of the developing rash where my exposed thighs scraped up against the straw, and the unwavering protest of my unseasoned shoulders as I ripped head after beautiful head of bright red garlic out of the ground. It was one of the most honest things I had ever done. Being so intimately connected to something as necessary as food, the key ingredient to human survival, was magic. Early that fall, I took a job packing mixed, uh, packing mixed produce boxes for another local farm. It was there that I learned my place as a woman in agriculture which, if I'm being honest, is not unlike the roles we fill in other industries. The dynamics were such that in a crew of roughly 18, I was one of three women in the packing shed. The rest were Caucasian males of mixed ages and backgrounds. I am not even going to get into the fact that, for the most part, people of color had different job responsibilities than I did. I'm just here to tell you my experience as a white woman on this job. Working there, I received comments on my breast size almost every day, sometimes multiple times a day, as if they were relevant to the job, as if these were my value. I would have crates of apples taken from my hands for no reason, hey, let me get that, as if I was not capable, as if my breasts got in the way, as if there wasn't other work to do. If I need your help, I will ask for it. In this sea of cardboard, pocket knives were an expression of personal utility. I didn't own one myself, so to complete the job of breaking down unneeded boxes, I had to ask the man who had just openly shared his love of feeling small breasts for a knife. It reminded both of us 
that he was armed and I wasn't. Don't get me wrong, I worked with some gentlemen too, real good men that never made me question my position on the team. And I also worked with gentlemen who would simply reach over and cut down boxes on my behalf. Thanks. Fed up? I used that first paycheck to purchase my own small knife. Somehow, I thought, now they will take me seriously. But even then, even then with a knife in my hand, I was cute. This story is an example of a broader attitude that women face in this industry. Women in the fields where I work now have shared countless stories like this with me when we are out weeding alone. But what about people outside of my immediate community? I was curious about the experiences of other women in agriculture. So I created and nationally distributed a survey that asked women various questions about their situations. Did being a woman ever bring them any advantages in the field? What about disadvantages? Was there ever a time that they thought about being a woman while on the job? I found their answers to be so striking, so real. I want to share a few of their quotes with you now. When I go for feed or supplement and I have to use my car because all the trucks are busy and I tell them to load her up and they just giggle. When I was 18, a vet refused to treat a cow who was down with coliform mastitis because there wasn't a man around to assist. The cow died with her head lying in my lap. She was one of our top milkers. I think an advantage has been people will know who you are because just being a woman makes you stick out like a sore thumb most of the time. Word gets around fast when there's a girl driving that semi or a girl in that tractor. Even my father still says I'm not really a farmer. I admit I couldn't have ever become a full-time farmer without my husband's support, but I don't think anyone believes I am a farmer. I am just his farm wife. I am not the farmer's wife. My husband is married to a farmer, not the other way around. <laughs> Diving into their stories, I consistently heard three things. Women are frustrated with the body size and strength that is often required to do a farm task independently. Now, these women are resourceful, strong, and they are often quite strong on their own, but Let's think about this a second. I am very lucky in that I am average height and a traditional shovel poses no direct obstacle to me. Sure, it challenges me to develop more upper body strength, but for the most part, I am able to use my very powerful legs and get the job done with ease. However, to my best friend, who is about a foot shorter than me, that same tool is entirely different. Farm tools and tractor implements are rather standardized, and this means that they're not always user-friendly to people with a smaller body stature. This lack of options can be a sincere source of resentment or even injury for different farmers. And often, those farmers are women. There is no good picture for this one. The single most common grievance I heard from women was a lack of adequate restroom facilities. Women reported having to walk or even drive 10 to 20 minutes away just to get to a bathroom. Now, I suppose she could piss beside the road like the boys, but do you really think she's going to want to expose herself after having received comments on her breasts earlier that day? How about if she's on her period? What then? 
In my brief survey, there were reports of sexual harassment like I mentioned earlier. I mean, farm girls are sexy. Yet in the same breath that they describe being ogled at, women mention being embarrassed to go pick up their children from school or run to the grocery store or, dare I say, go on a date with literal shit on their pants. It happens more than we like to admit. This embarrassment is rooted in cultural expectations of women's appearances. Women across disciplines face hypersexualization of their different roles every damn day. These are people that feed us, heal our sick, steer our businesses, teach our children, and run our households. This is a lot to live up to. I share this complexity with you to say it is possible and completely necessary to face sexism in your industry. It is doable. I know because I do it. This doesn't change the fact that when I shake a man's hand and mine is rougher than his, we both notice. But given enough work, we can learn to take pride in this difference. If you are a woman in agriculture, hire and advocate for women in your field. This holds true for every industry. Yes, sexism is very prevalent in agriculture, but I could be here in front of you talking about almost any industry in the world, and my story would be the same. We all have a responsibility to recognize and understand that no matter her body or level of attractiveness, she is, in fact, capable, competent, and able to do the job that she herself took on. No matter your line of work or gender, understand that the women in your fields are having a different experience. Thank you.